Hi, my name is Patrice Lazareff and I'm mixing engineer at Studio Le Manoir in France. Uh, in this video, it's a um, follow-up to my previous video about Atmos and Reaper settings. And uh, since the previous video, I had great feedback, uh, especially from people at uh, Dolby. And they made a remark which is rather important, so that will be a very short video. And that's about the synchronization between uh, Reaper and the Dolby Atmos renderer. In my previous video, I used a MIDI time code for this uh, synchronization. If you want all the details about it, that's in the, the previous video I will uh, make a link a link to it uh, and uh, what they told me is that MTC is working but that it's not as accurate as uh, audio time code uh, because MTC is only frame accurate so for instance if you're at say 25 frame per seconds that means 40 milliseconds uh, while uh, LTC over audio is sample accurate so it's better uh, to use uh, this for um, a greater accuracy. That may not be absolutely needed in music since uh, when you will be rendering your final mix it is most likely that th that's the whole song that will be rendered uh, but for longer programs as I said maybe or for music to picture uh, it's most important to have sample accuracy and so this is how to set it up with uh, Reaper so the first thing to do in the in the Dolby Atmos renderer is to go in the preferences and uh, in driver set external source to uh, audio time code and then by default the input channel is channel 129 because uh, as you've seen the Dolby Atmos renderer uses uh, actually has 130 uh, audio channels but there's 128 of them are used for program content uh, for sound and uh, 129 and 130 can be used for uh, timecode so LTC over audio and channel let's use the default 129 so we accept this in the preferences here and how to set this up in Reaper uh, I'm, I had created this time code generator uh, item uh, that's a simple track uh, insert time code generator and here if I right click on it on source properties uh, I had set it to MIDI time code so now let's set it back to audio time code and, uh, and then of course don't hit play because if not you will have audio time code quite loud in the speakers and that's not very good uh, so we need to send it to channel 129 uh, so the, the thing to do is to um, uncheck the master send so it's it won't be going into the audio master uh, and we add a new hardware output and here we have all the channels of the, the Dolby audio bridge uh, and so we can go down the menu to output 129 and we don't need to have both channels sent to it so we can even say that we use a mono source let's take the the channel one and so we can check that the channel one of this audio track goes to output 129 uh, and also something that i forgot to mention in the previous video uh, is that you have to defeat the solo here so uh, if you solo another track an audio track while mixing uh, of course the the time code will keep playing uh, if not it would be muted and the, then the sync would be lost um, and then so if we hit play here uh, we can see that we have all time code and this time it's time code with sample accuracy uh, so that's all I had to uh, say for this uh, video. Uh, thank you for watching and well, I'll see you soon for more adventures uh, in Atmos with Reaper. Bye.